Welcome back to Toby's Real Skills with Toby. Still me. Today's video will focus mainly on this relay, which you can see here right now. After we update it, um, in this case, update uh, version 3, we, I, I realized that the relay settings we just did a couple, you know, videos back were basically overwritten and not existing anymore. So I remembered it and I knew it. Oh shit, yeah, we did just make it temporarily instead of persisting which means as soon as you update again another firmware it will be overwritten again so what can we do to avoid this pretty pretty simple i think so at least um since i don't running that update right now but um i'll show you a version and apparently it's written by kevin thanks again to you even though i don't know this guy at all but thank you so much he wrote the raspberry pi gpio setup which is included in the setup helper. And the setup helper is something I talked about and I think I also installed somewhere. This specific feature, development, what he did, scripting, when you go down to the notes, you can read everything by yourself. But what I want to focus is about is on this custom GPIO list. And since I'm running this little three relay board, it would be cool every time we run a Venus OS update that this relay list remains the same, which means um, customized to this board what I'm running on my Raspberry Pi or have connected to my Raspberry Pi. And that's what we're going to do. So it means this is the path where the file will reside, our customized file. I'll copy also this uh, command in the description below. When I go back here into my Raspberry Pi console, or sorry, when I go back into my Venus OS console, very important, you have to know the IP address. As I always say, you have to know the IP address, put it into a browser, and that's what you will see. Um, you can also use, of course, your external screen. Now we'll switch into settings, just to see what's the status of the package. So it means we'll go settings, then we'll go down all the way, package manager, look into the active packages and then we'll see yes I did have RPI GPIO setup stored but it looks like not installed yeah not installed okay that's fine before we do any installation it might have been installed already and then I uninstalled it I think that's what it's showing because it's already stored or it could be that you moved from inactive you double clicked and activated it so it moved in here um, one or the other way and what I want to now show you is of course requirement as mentioned you need to have the IP address so it means I'll take the putty putty connect I'll connect now to my Raspberry Pi there we are and what I need to check is basically I told you this is the path what we want to check on if there is this cus of if there's the GPIO list if this file exists already, because that's the file we want to customize and put in our configuration for our relay board. So I'll copy this path because I do a CD, like a change directory. I copied it already with a keyboard and with ls, do not auto install, option set. So there's no file as you can see here, which means for us, we'll create it. Perfect, that's all I wanted to see. Which means we have to make sure we use the right name. And the right name is this GPIO underscore list. Well, that means we'll do a nano command, this one, and that's an empty file what we created here. And now I will copy, um, let me see, do I still have it? Yeah. From this link, which we worked on in uh, one of the previous videos, and I mean, you can just copy this one. I think that's what we're doing. We copy everything which is in here in the code. And now I'm, so I did the control C for copying. And now I just right clicked and paste everything in here. And we'll go up to here where it says relay one. So what's happening here, we want to change it, as you remember, this is the board, we do have all those pins mentioned here, we want to 
use pins 26 for relay 1, 20 for relay 2, and 20, uh, <laughs> pin 21 for relay 3. So that's what we want to change, which means we have changes to, what did I say, 26. Very important, that's the comment, and then I'll do also change it here, 26. Then we do have 20 here, change it in common as well. Who knows who might read it, maybe you don't remember what you did, so you want to read it. And then we have 21 here, and 21 here. And then I want to make sure, really, for the hashtag in front of the 26 here, and also hashtag in front of this one. And also hashtag in front of this one. So really four, five, and six have now a comment. The hashtag just basically says it's not valid. That's what we did. And now everything else I just copy and paste. I didn't change anything. So feel free. Everything ha which has a comment in front of it, the hashtag in front of it, delete or whatever you want to do. Um, we don't need everything else. Control X for exiting, Y for saving, and then enter. And now when I type in ls, then we see there's the gpio list file. Perfect. Going back here into our VRM console. So the first step was we created a custom file, the custom gpio underscore list file. When we do the installation of the RPI gpio setup, fingers crossed, it will recognize, hey, there is a custom file, and then do the reboot. Still fingers crossed. And then we see three relays with the correct pins. So let's see. Double click RPIO, RGPIO setup. Click on install, proceed. Reboot now. Wait. Did you see this? While it's rebooting. Something was loaded already, I guess, in Venus AS. Um, when I click on connect or reconnect, reconnect, I'll change the pages. Uh, we see three relays. Relays. Uh, first relay. Second. Third is on. Let's go into settings really quick, just to double check. All the way down again to the package manager. Whoop. Active packages, and then we see, you can see it is installed. That's what you want to have, latest version, perfect. So it does remember, usually, that's what it was last time. Um, auto install packages. Um, when you watch the video about the um, update to version three, I activated this auto install package, auto install packages, and it did install everything which was in the active packages. So fingers crossed, and that's what I understood so far, also from this uh, from Kevin's description. It should work like that. That's why we have the custom file, and as soon as we do firmware update, it should just put everything in place again. That's what you want to have. That's what you want to see. Um, I'm very demanding, I'm sorry. But when you look at the description here, please feel free to read everything thoroughly. I'm happy we have our real three relays back, which work with the three relay board. And that's all I wanted to see and all I wanted to have. If you like this video, please like it. And I would really appreciate it if you want to subscribe to the channel, if you want to see more stuff like that. One last word, I hope that the audio is better today. Please let me know in the comments if this is uh, resolved. I apologize for the last videos, I didn't know. Let me know in the comments if uh, you like this video or if you want to see something else. I'm happy to answer whatever I can, hopefully. Thanks for watching. Cheers!